today's science inquiry, we're going to delve into the properties of milk. Milk is really a rather unusual um, liquid. It's actually an emulsion, which is two types of liquids that are unblendable. They don't blend together. And it's also colloid, where those two liquids are interspersed evenly amongst themselves. So it's actually two types of liquids combined together into one, and they don't blend together, and they're evenly dispersed. Because of those properties, milk is really quite magical. If we add acid to milk, we get like a cottage cheese or a farmer's cheese. It divides the fat molecules from the water molecules and we get cottage cheese. If we add different enzymes to it, we can get anything from yogurt to hard cheeses, like string cheese and cheddar cheese. Just depends on the enzyme you add to it. And if we agitate it, if we agitate milk, we end up with butter. So today we're gonna concentrate on the properties of milk, the emulsion and the colloid properties. What we're gonna do today is take our milk and put about two inches of milk in a glass bowl. Then what we'll do is have the children add two to three drops of each of the colors of food dye to the milk. We want nice little quarter sized circles around the edge of the milk. We don't want them to overlap. Then we'll have them take a drop of dishwasher detergent and we'll do that using a toothpick. So one drop of detergent into the center of the milk and we'll watch what happens. What will happen is the detergent grabs onto both the fat molecules and the water molecules in the milk and it gets the colors moving so it ends up looking like a tie-dyed shirt with the colors that are in the milk. It's really rather awesome. So let's go see how the children apply this demonstration. So the first thing we're going to do is pour the milk into the glass jars to about, oh, two inches in depth. Then once you've got it poured, we want the milk to kind of settle so it's not moving. So we need to be careful not to move the table too. Then once the milk has stopped moving is to put in a drop of each of your food colors, two to three drops. What we want is about a quarter size spot of each color in your milk. Make sure they don't overlap. Okay, let's add a spot of dishwashing liquid to your milk and watch what happens. Whoa! What happened? Tell me what happened. It went poof. Okay, it ran away from the soap. The soap, okay. How come it did that? Because it's scared of it. It's scared of it, okay. Actually, what happened this time when you put your, your um, toothpick in there is you broke the surface temp the surface tension on it and it ran out to the outside. Now as we continue to watch it, what's happening to your milk? Lindsay, what happens to the color? Um, it explodes. Okay, that's a good way to put it. It explodes. It starts to boil. Isn't that cool? It's like tie-dyed milk. What else can we do with this? Um, maybe we try a different type of milk. Like a different type of milk? Chocolate milk. Okay, like okay. Want to try chocolate milk? You want to try skim milk? See what happens when we do skim milk? The color's not spreading as fast. It's not, is it? It's just sitting there. It's not doing the little sneak thing that your first one did. Mm-hmm. How's the skim milk going down there? Ours isn't like <coughs> moving as it was. It was. It's kind of just spreading out a little bit. Okay. Until it flobs. So if it's settled, go ahead and add your soap. So, is it boiling? No. No movement? Nothing's happening? Just kind of spread out when you broke the surface? Yeah. And then nothing else since then? How about chocolate milk? Let's see what's going to happen with our chocolate milk. Whoa, there goes the tension break again. No, there's not a lot going on there either, is there? Not yet anyway. Sometimes it takes a while for it to boil. Maybe. Let's give the whipping cream a try. So did this finally move, girls, or did you do that with the... It did that by itself. It did it by itself. All right. Go ahead and put the... Anything happening? No. Nope. I don't think we put enough down. Nothing's moving on the chocolate milk. Okay. Chocolate no chocolate milk movement. No movement on the whipping cream.
What we discovered is the amount of milk fat in the milk is what affected the amount of movement in the, and the color of the milk. Did you notice how that first initial experiment allowed the children to ask more questions? It got their brain thinking. What others, what is affecting this? What's making this happen? And by them allowing them to answer their own questions through creating their own experiments is what science inquiry is all about. Milk is such an interesting product that it, it, will, it works well in the science inquiry process. So consider using milk as you help children realize the magic of milk through cheese making and butter making and yogurt making. So do your own experiments and remember to have fun.